It's day eight in the 2018 Utah legislative session, and today I'm having a uh, seriously moment. A couple days ago, I discussed a resolution on civil rights that was sponsored by Senator Jim DeBacchus, a prominent Democrat in our state, and I'm his floor sponsor, a Republican. And um, it, it, this was so refreshing to me that we were able to reach across the aisle on something that we both agreed on very strongly, felt very passionately about civil rights, core constitutional civil rights. And we were able to work on this resolution. It's moving now over to the House. It's enjoyed good support so far. Um, I think unanimous support so far, as it should. And, uh, but what I didn't share with you was that we had an opponent to that resolution. And this was a group called the American Federation of Teachers. And their local representative testified that while they supported the substance of the bill, they would be opposing the bill because of their perception that some outside groups that they disagree with was somehow behind this. Well, Senator DeBacchus and I did this bill together. The two of us with our local attorney, and um, it, but it, 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 was, it was sad to me to think that a group could say, this is good, this is right, we agree with it, but just because someone might be behind the scenes that we disagree with, we're just gonna oppose it. Well, tomorrow I have another bill in another committee that deals with due process, another fundamental constitutional right, a 14th Amendment right. And, um, and once again, this group has come forward and they are opposing the legislation. They are um, lobbying the committee members really with the same disclaimer saying, while we agree with the substance of the bill that it's generally good for students and students should have those rights, um, we think these other groups are behind it, and because we don't agree with those groups, we're going to oppose the legislation. Now, I, I, I just don't get this, and I, and I realize on the left and the right, we kind of have our people and our, our organizations that we, uh, we support, agree with, um, and, and then we oppose some on the other sides or we're suspicious of the other side, but, but honestly, would we take a position? I, I, I don't see taking a position on a bill that is right and good on solid constitutional principles just because some outside group may, may be supportive. Um, I, 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 don't get the, I don't get that world. So um, again, the irony to me is this is an outside national group saying that they oppose it because they don't want an outside national group influencing state policy? Is there any irony there? So all I have to say is, seriously?